we bought a Prius, a new to me Prius with uh, 205,000 miles and it's very noisy, <laughs> really, really noisy. Um, I suspect that the wheel bearings are bad and then the uh, And then the check engine light is for the uh, three-way coolant valve, which is actually fine. Uh, they said that the heater doesn't sometimes function well, and that's very that, that's because of the uh, three-way coolant valve not supplying um, coolant to the uh, to the heater. So the only heater that works is the electronic heater. fine though I don't notice any problems with the engine um, I think the problem mostly is the noise the wheel bearing noise so I suspect that both wheel bearings are bad uh, it's kind of funny that the, uh, that the ABS light is not on so I'm on the freeway now and oh boy look at that see it changes pitch So I am cleaning this other side of the headlight with just the lens clarifying compound um, with my uh, uh, towel and this uh, compound and this is the one that wasn't uh, uh, cleaned up yet so it's pretty cloudy never been cleaned this one the underside of my uh, Prius, uh, new to me Prius. The uh, uh, this portion out here actually scrapes the ground when I'm hitting like a uh, like a low spot. Yep, see this one. And uh, this thing is like uh, broken. And this one too. Uh, the other half is like intact and uh, the problem with this is that <laughs> uh, there's only one screw that bolt that holds it and there's nothing in here so this thing is, is like uh, uh, bringing more additional noise actually aside from the grinding so I'm gonna take all of this out and see if I could uh, probably recover some of it. Yep. Turning to what I got. So this is my old part. And this is my replacement part. So this part is actually broken. Yep. Everything is okay. Yes. And I need to find a way to fix this one and this one. I'm going to replace the uh, well bearings on the passenger side of this Prius. And the first thing to do is basically remove the caliper, uh, remove the knuckle from the strut, this one, then remove the the tie rod, then remove the axle, remove the lower ball joints, and 
then uh, remove the whole spindle and then press out the rail hub assembly. That's it. So right now I'm actually picking out the uh, the uh, uh, the bolts for the uh, wheel. I mean the caliper bracket. Um, and then uh, after that, I'm gonna remove the tie rod and the bow joint, and then the whole uh, spindle. Caliper bracket is off, the rotor is off too, down there. Putting in some uh, PV blaster on the wheel hub. Uh, basically, we'll try to take this uh, axle nut out. And, uh, yep, next one will be the bow joint. I think there's, a, there's three bolts in there. I mean, two bolts and one nut. Needs to be taken out, or probably two nuts and one bolt. So I got all the three, I mean the two nuts and one bolt on the bow joint. Yep, and then I also took out the uh, the castle nut here for the tie rod. Um, the bow joint is still okay on this one, and uh, I'm going to take out the. Uh, um, the ABS sensor and if you look at that it's moving this way so the ABS sensor uh, is taken out easily it's not stuck and that's the uh, uh, that's the hole for the uh, tone ring so that needs that uh, we need that to be aligned when we put the cover back I uh, I took out the uh, CV axle out of the uh, um, out of the hub by uh, uh, this by uh, removing this from the ball joint stuff. Um, so if you look at this, that is really rough. <laughs> yep. This ball joint is really bad. There should be no sound, but the new one doesn't have any sound, and it's just like resistance when you turn it. And then, uh, there, this one has no play actually. See, there's no play. So if you move the uh, the uh, the tires, like uh, 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 3 o'clock, there's no play at all. Which is not really like a good indicator that your wheel bearing is bad. So, yep, yep, my axle is falling case, down. I cannot take out these bolts without removing this uh, uh, this uh, cover out here because uh, it will not go out. All the uh, four bolts that holds the wheel hub out, including the cover, because I cannot take out the bolts with, with it in place. So this is how it looks like. Now, I'm going to try pounding this out with hammer, see if it will come out. Otherwise, I'm going to take out these uh, two bolts here that holds it into struts and then press it out. Um, we'll try this one first, and if it doesn't, yeah, take out this two. Better to just remove the whole thing and pound this uh, wheel hub out with a big, with a big hammer. Should come out. Clean this ring and make sure that the hole aligns with the, with the hole in here. Yep, so this way, this way. So, I am not so sure how other people could remove this hub without taking this out because um, if you have a socket, um, this one will actually like impede it. Um, this way my socket is probably too thick. 
or maybe they're using a thin of a socket, but it will actually dent this one if you force it. 2x4, 2x4, you just, uh, just pound this out with a hammer. Should be in place. And uh, look at that. Yep. There should be a hole in there for the ABS. Time to put it back. So putting it back is the same as uh, removing it. I'm going to replace the cause of the check engine light on this Prius. So I initially put in PB blaster on that. Uh, I think it's a nut over there. And there's another bolt down there that uh, this one yep um, that holds the bracket for the three-way coolant bulb so this is how it looks like uh, yeah I think this is like uh, this is how it's positioned so this is the uh, the bolt for that and then the upper bolt uh, the upper nut and then that's the your connector and then you pinch that have there to release it and then these are the two connector or the hoses and this one goes to your canister valve so um, I think it's easier to basically just uh, put in the hose and then connect it to the canister valve below than taking this one out space is so tight on this one in fact I have a video just dedicated for this on my previous test Oh, it has not. It doesn't have the same issue, but it's starting to leak. It's starting to leak. I think this one also starts to leak because when I last checked out the underside, um, I could see like uh, coolant in the uh, one of the hoses, the coolant tab, the hose over there. So this one is definitely leaking, and it has a bad bulb. Surprise! Surprise! This one got a got a green coolant. Coolant is oozing out. Get the uh, connector out by uh, pressing this tab. And uh, oh, not really. <laughs> I actually uh, disconnected it from the housing. Um, this tab is actually pretty, pretty hard to open. So, yep. So it's still connected. Um, I got the two hoses out already. Usually the the one with the dot, that's the one on top. So this one of the uh, get out now. See that? The only problem is if you look at that, uh, it's gonna be hard for you to. Uh, or for me to actually take the hose down there because uh, the side to loosen it is on the wrong side it's uh, in here which is not accessible I cannot like rotate it so I need to do it down there looks down here without the cover um basically what will happen is if i take this clip out uh, water from this canister will actually like all dumped out and that's fine because uh, those are green coolant anyway i'm gonna replace it with pink hose uh, out there you go more coolant coming out now i can uh, pull this uh, bulb out if I go. I'm gonna take this out I need to take out this big hose over here because it's on the way pretty much it's a, it's a boy got it so this one has been leaking yeah see that the white sediment there that's a sign of leak yep I don't know if this is original. Oh yeah, quality doorman. Yep. 
Not a good idea to buy Dorman. They don't okay, last. Basically, the original used part done so. Um, yeah, I don't know if this one will last, but uh, it's a cheap one. It's like a 10 bucks. Still, uh, 110 will be secured. Bolt here, the bolt there, and the bolt here. All bolted in. Hoses bolted in. The plug bolted in. These two hoses needs to be actually um, this one needs to be removed so that you'll have more space to wiggle this one when, when taking it out and putting it in and this one just needs to be out of its bracket that's it trying to bleed the system by adding more coolant until I see no bubbles okay the engine just stop so i'm gonna restart it again no bubbles anymore so it's time to uh, close this one and uh, test drive it Uh, Prius it's, uh, one is the heater valve with throws an engine light uh, it's P1222 and this one is the grinding noise uh, this one is on the left side so the left side this grinds pretty bad that you won't know if it's left or right because it just vibrates the whole body of the Prius so don't try to run it. So I got some uh, coolant being spilled here. So I, I cleared the codes and we'll try turning it on again. Yep. So no check engine light anymore. And uh, yep. Then we'll try test driving it. So the engine turns on. Unfortunately, the other issue that I have with this is the blower motor actually quit. Um, I didn't notice it, but it quit. <laughs> so I have I have no AC, no heat just window luckily uh, the weather is uh, 72 degrees which is uh, pretty nice so no grinding noise um, what i could hear is pretty much the the brake rotors grinding uh, because it's been parked for a while so yep I probably need new rotors but in terms of the grinding noise they're completely gone no grind just the brake noise uh, it's the it's the rotors that were very rusty and I think the exhaust for this is like a little bit loud um, I have to check if there were some rust spots because I think there's like a leak somewhere yeah. I probably need some rotors probably um, I'm going to check if I need a new one or I'll just probably wait um, after several miles of driving it maybe it will go away but if you drive it like uh, say 33 32 miles per hour yeah you wouldn't notice it so uh, it's basically uh, an issue with rusted rotors or uh, being parked for a while so the uh, 
hybrid system is working fine. Yep, no more grinding noise. I'll just kind of drive this more and then see what happens to the uh, to the uh, rumors. I don't know if I need to uh, replace the uh, the wheel hub or the wheel bearing on the other side on this on this driver side because it seems to be okay though. I might probably just replace it because. Uh, yeah, um, I bought two wheel hubs just in case. So, so far so good. 